Hi, hello. Today we're going to be doing Reddit Am I the Asshole Stories. This time, we're going to be doing Pride Month. Well, we're going to be doing queer Reddit stories because of Pride Month. Hell yeah. How can I, male 29, ask my husband, 26 male, of 9 months to be in an actual romantic relationship with me? I know how it sounds. Hear me out. I'll provide backstory so the title can make sense. I'm a gay man and I come from a wealthy traditional Asian family. We have businesses and stuff in my native country, but I manage our business extension abroad. I made it very clear to my family years ago that I would not marry a woman. Marriages are culturally important in my country, but that I would not torture them by marrying a man. Hence, I would stay single and they would stay out of my business. That worked for about four years, kind of, until last year when I went to visit and they trapped me in a visit with this girl that was the single daughter of my dad's friend. We were both essentially left alone in a room and we both did not want to be there. Anyway, the person was blunt and was like, listen man, I'm a trans man and I'm not out to my family and I don't want to get married to you. You do not have to be with me because I am a man. Just leave it because he thought I set up the visit. Uh, yeah, so I was surprised and accidentally was like, I don't even like women, what do you mean? Anyway, I'll spare you the details. We became friends and he found the whole thing hilarious, as did I. We exchanged numbers and my family was delighted thinking I was being cured from my homosexuality. And he was genuinely just nice to talk to, so it was a good situation. Our families kept pushing for marriage and I don't know why, but we were like, yes, screw it, and very quickly got married so our families would get off our backs. This was in June last year. He moved to my country in August and we just pulled a giant scam on our families and got away with it. He had a good thing out of it. Attending grad school, I would pay. He would live in a guest bedroom and live his life. I also had a good thing out of it. A, a wife with no more cutting remarks about being gay. I also gave him my permission to cut his hair short and stop dressing feminine like his family forced him to do. Culturally for us, if a husband is okay with the wife doing something, her family can't say anything because her husband has authority. It's gross and misogynistic and condescending, but it worked for us. They can't say anything to his appearance even if they wanted to. Now things have been smooth sailing. He started school, made friends, is comfortable and happy. I work, come home, mind my business, and have a good roommate. But recently, starting around Christmas, we accidentally started getting closer. Not to say that we were strangers before, we did have dinner together sometimes, but after Christmas, he started watching TV with me, eating with me, buying me stuff, texting me more frequently. He also started staying in my room to FaceTime his family because he said that they complained about how he always FaceTimed alone. So he would get in my bed and tell me to say hi. And after a while, it got tiring to get out of my bed to go back. And after a while, it got tiring to get out of my bed and go back to his own room. So he moved into my room completely. That slowly escalated to us cuddling, awake, and sleeping. He will just sprawl out on top of me doing random things that I'm unsure what it means. He's also started sitting on my lap and nuzzling me and stuff like that. He can also make, he also makes jokes about dating and getting pets and showering together. And I can never tell if he's serious because he jokes about everything. We also almost kissed twice, initiated by him while cuddling, but he goes red and jumps ship at last minute and starts making jokes. He also gets flustered around me and keeps commenting on how big, tall, and strong I am because he's tiny. I understand why he might not kiss me. I'm scary looking, I'm very, I'm not very expressive or talkative and just let him speak because I like hearing him speak. And so when he initiates something, I look at him like a brick wall, he must think I don't want this or something. How do I fix that? It's just my face and I'm too awkward to start things. Now we are in self-isolation together and you can cut the sexual romantic tension in this house with a knife since we're constantly together. I won't say dramatic things like I've fallen in love with him, but I definitely feel something. I want to take him on dates and kiss him and let him speak as much as he wants and watch all the TV with him. I want him to be happy and I want myself to be happy. How can I show him that I like him? I'm not good at gestures, so I have zero idea what to do. He's very rowdy and confident, but he gets so shy around me and it makes me feel things but I can't even show him how much I feel. Even if your advice is to yell at me and get my shit together, please do so. So I'm pretty sure there's actually an update to that somewhere where they say that they get together. I can't find it. And if I find it, I will make another video and put it in it. I just read that because it's such a feel good thing. Like the situation they're in is so coincidental and it's so perfect that it's crazy to be a coincidence. You know what I mean? Having a gay man meet a trans guy who is also gay and they fall in love as themselves rather than like the man and woman that 
uh, society wants them to be. As a trans guy, that makes me feel very, very happy. And I just wanted to share it with you guys. There was another post that I really wanted to share, but I could not find it. Basically, it was this guy with a roommate, and the roommate was gay, but he didn't know he was gay. And he thought he was being homophobic to his roommate, but he wasn't. He was just jealous that the roommate was bringing a guy home and that the roommate was with someone else that's not him. And then they get together at the end. I, I feel like these posts are like not real. They're just so good that it feels like they're not real. You know what I mean? Am I the asshole for not telling my best friend her crush is gay? My best friend will call Amanda, has a crush on our mutual friend will call Alex. Amanda and myself have been friends for about seven years while we've only known Alex for a few months. Amanda constantly flirts with and hangs around Alex and it's quite obvious that she likes him. For this reason, Alex tends to prefer to hang out with me. The reason unbeknownst to Amanda, because he's just another friend to me, which makes Amanda jealous that he hangs out with me all the time and not her, even though I have repeatedly told her I am in no way interested in him. He disclosed to me that he was gay, but told me he didn't want me to tell Amanda because he could tell that she likes him. Amanda proceeds to ask him out the following week after he told me this. They went on a date after which Alex finally told Amanda he was gay. Amanda tells me how bad and stupid she feels and how she felt like a test subject and turned him gay. I told her I'd known for a while and that she didn't turn him gay, but he didn't want her to know. She's now furious with me for making her feel like an idiot and letting her go on a date with him and won't talk to me. Am I the asshole for not telling her he was gay? Definitely not the asshole. He trusted OP to come out to them. He didn't want Amanda to know his sexuality and OP was just being a good person and not outing him to someone. I get that it's embarrassing for the girl to fall for a guy who ended up being gay, but like, it's not this, it's not this OP's job basically not the asshole you were doing what you were keeping someone's sexuality secret because they told you to and even if they didn't tell you to like you don't want to out someone it's not right to like out someone when they don't trust or don't want the person don't want the other person to know you know what i mean am i the asshole for not reacting right to a colleague telling me he is gay i feel like i could be in the wrong here even if i don't understand why to be honest, there have been incidents in the past where I have unwittingly been rude without intending to. And there are some social norms that escape my understanding, which is why I would appreciate some impartial, unbiased input and posting here. One of my colleagues, H, technically I'm his boss, not sure if that matters, came into my office today. I have an open door policy to encourage team members to come forward and share their ideas, so this was not that unusual. H came into my office and said, I am gay thought there would he would be saying something else so I waited for him to continue after a moment I made a sound of assent to make it clear that I heard him but he still didn't say anything since he was staring at me I assumed he was trying to convey something I wasn't understanding here's where I might have messed up the first thing I said my friend specifically scolded me because this was the first thing I said was to ask if he had any insights in marketing to that demographic we work in a marketing firm H said he hadn't. I asked him if he was getting married and needed time off. This too, I've been informed, is an asshole -ish response. H said he wasn't married. I finally said that if H had nothing else he wanted to discuss, then he should leave as I had a meeting to start in a few minutes. I needed the office. He left. Shortly afterwards, a mutual friend scolded me and said I was a right asshole for the way I responded to H. Am I the asshole for how I responded? If so, could you please explain what I did wrong? What should have been the right response and how I could fix this? I don't think he was responding that incorrectly. Like, the guy just walking into his office and being like, well, I'm gay. Like, how is he supposed to respond? Especially if they're working at a marketing firm. I, maybe it's maybe it's because I'm awful with people. But my, I understand his first response being like, yeah, how does that pertain to our situation? And like the thing that I do appreciate is that he didn't make a deal out of it. I think that he shouldn't have been expected to say more. Like, or wh why is this person coming into his office and announcing his sexuality? That's what I don't understand. He was a right asshole. We finally have an update. <laughs> I never really thought I would ever post an update, but I wanted to share the good news. Nearly a year after my junior colleague H unexpectedly came out to me at work, he's become engaged to my brother. At the advice of this form, I had a follow-up conversation with H to ensure that he was not facing any type of harassment or discrimination and try to understand what prompted his exclamation. It was fortunately nothing major as H seemed to find the conversation embarrassing. 
A month later, my parents finally got the courage to ask Jay, my father's assistant, about adoption. My parents had met Jay several years ago when he was huddling by the side of the road. He had aged out of foster system, but due to lack of support, he could not get a job and was homeless. My parents had invited him to spend the night, and he has been working as my father's assistant ever since. Jay has been like a second son to my parents for a long time. And after a late night conversation when Jay opened up about how alone he sometimes felt because he had no family, my parents asked him how he would feel about adult adoption. I wasn't there when they asked him, but at the family dinner afterwards, it was a, mo a very emotional and long overdue. However, as the days went on, Jay seemed to get more and more anxious and seemed to withdraw from us. Nearly a month later, he told us in a shaking voice that he couldn't go through the adoption because he had been deceiving us. He was gay. Now, throughout all the time with my family, Jay had never dated. We had all assumed that he was just shy or uninterested, so it was heartbreaking to hear that he felt he needed to censor himself, and that he thought we would leave him if, he knew the tr if we knew the truth. It was a painful conversation, but ended happily, and the next day, Jay went to my parents' file with the paperwork. At the time, my siblings and I were wondering how to show Jay he has nothing to worry about. When I remembered H and asked if I could share his email with Jay, I had been thinking that it would be good for Jay to have a friend who is out. I never imagined they would start dating and get engaged. So yeah, it's a happy ending. We get, I don't understand from the beginning why H just walked into his office and exclaimed that he was gay. But in the end, it turned out well because H and J started to talk. Peace out.